Hello, and it's Talking Really here, and welcome. The today's story is in the Daily Record and is about the tampering scandal for 7,000 health assessments. You may or may not have heard this story, but if you haven't, here it is. Daily Record uh, reports that there's new figures showing the scale of the pro- problem as auditors mark down health assessments deliberately. So the, <laughs> the outcome of this uh, was that a full scandal of secret benefit tampering can be revealed after the DWP admitted that nearly 7,000 health assessments were changed or binned over two year period. Last month, the record, Daily Record, revealed how one of two firms working for welfare chiefs had audited the paperwork after they were submitted by a health professional. Now we can show you that two private contractors marked down or rejected 6,850 reports without the guaranteed of follow-up meetings with claimant or assessor. The SMB demanded the practices stopped and investigated, but the DWP insisted the system is there to ensure quality. Marion Fellows, the SMP disability spokeswoman at Westminster, obtained the new figures after the UK government gave a partial response in January with a much lower total. This blindfolded decision-making undermines the whole process and will impact heavily on people's lives, she said. From outsourcing to private companies, chasing targets to DWP auditors themselves, the whole system is rigged against disabled people trying to access vital support. I had to chase the DWP to, to provide the actual numbers, despite the purpose of my question being very clear. This may be yet another attempt by the DWP to prevent information about the impact of their policies getting out. The Daily Record exposed the secret audits over a year ago when a Scot with a MS and mental health problems was sent before and after copies of his assessments for a PIP claim. The original was submitted by a nurse after an assessment. It was then plucked from the files by a private firm and systematically marked down, leaving him without any support. The changes show the auditor was routinely disregarding professional opinion on the claimant's health. In 2018, the IAS contractor marked down or scrapped 2,240 files, followed by 2,300 in the following year. A second contractor capita marked down or rejected 1,120 assessments, followed by another 1,190. Files are graded acceptable, unacceptable, acceptable with amendment, or acceptable with feedback. The companies dipped into about 1500 a month between them. The DWP said, We are absolutely committed to ensuring people receive the support they are entitled to. That is why assessments are carried out by qualified health professionals and we continue to work with them to ensure quality is continuously improving. Sometimes assessment reports are returned to providers to ensure we have as much information as possible to reach an accurate decision. Hogwash. Well, there you go. That's the story. 7,000 plus reports have been tampered with by the majority of the assessments. What makes me laugh is that they keep on with this rhetoric. Uh, We are absolutely committed to ensuring people receive the support they're entitled to. F***ers, are they? (laughs) It's just showing that they're lying again. I I just cannot understand this whole idea. Anyway, have a good day. Don't forget, we want some thumbs up, likes and shares. And uh, thank you for being a viewer. And have a good day. Bye for now. (laughs)